Okay, now we got the engine running compression. Close this one, cylinder number two, and analyze the data. Running compression. It's showing me about one fifty-seven or running running compression. Oh no no no, uh, I'm not right. This is the one I should be looking at. This is this one here, the channel sixty-four right here. Yeah, we can see sixty-four, sixty-four psi. I was looking at the other one, but sixty-four psi running compression. And um, let me just close this one. I wanted to bring the other channel. Where is the other one? Right here is the other one. So that one should be probably like this. Let me zoom on it. Okay, now we are about this is about my zero psi there. You see, zero psi intake pulling and pockets are good. Okay, gonna analyze this one running compression number two, non good cylinder. I'll save it. Okay, I have the crank position sensor here, the crankshaft uh, position sensor. I wanted to get data and I was connected to the ground, uh, computer ground, because I didn't want to any interference there. <clears throat> Basically what I was looking here is um, find out any noise, like electrical noise like this we can see here and see if there was a, some consistency um, in between number cylinder 4 and number 1. Because that one could, could be interpreted by the computer as misfire too. But um, there is some electrical noise here, but it's not consistent, you know, to be um, to be that the cause of the misfires. So barely we can see something here, over here, but still it's not consistent, you know. It's, it's not something we we see like over and over on repetitions. was when the engine was cranking looks pretty clean when the engine was cranking I think it, it was like a 1500 rpm or something like that here when uh, at the condition went down of course the midfire about there but um I don't really see anything that really called my attention and, and say yes it was you know some type of uh, electrical noise so I just wanted to discard that one because you know the condition this has been setting at the code. It's been kind of little noise there, but I, like um, what I can see here on top is the AC ripple, you know, like um, the alternator producing some some ripple here. So sometimes that one can cause some some problems too. How much was that? That ripple, let me see here. From here. Yeah, it's showing about 400 millivolts, and apparently acceptable is like less than 100. But um, that can cause some computer stuff sometimes, you know, some computer got crazy but anyway I, I disconnected on this vehicle the alternator and uh, run it without the alternator and still you know the misfire is there so it's not caused by AC ripple here so I wanted to show that one at last you know so that way you know it's not like I'm missing something there I think so any help will be appreciated at this point I'm done with this one so please help okay I got here the <coughs> compression readings I took from cylinder 1 3 and 5 we can see 2 4 6 so cylinder misfire 1, one gave me a cranky compression of 155 and seven, uh, 70 running compression 
comparing to other cylinders, you know, like this one cylinder too, gave me 185 cranking compression. <coughs> this is non uh, misfire cylinder and 70 running compression, pretty much the same than the number one running compression. Number four gave me a little bit higher compression, running 80 on running compression and 180 on cranking compression, static, static compression. So pretty much comparing these two, it's just five. This one got like, you know, a good difference. Comparing with this, it's like what, 125? However, the one was uh, registering most misfire was the number four.